28. Use the standard entropy data in Appendix G to determine the change in entropy for each of the following reactions. All the processes occur at the standard conditions and at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, cool. So in this case, we have CH4 gas plus O2 gas yields C solid, the graphite version, plus 2H2O gas. Now we want to find that change in entropy. Change in entropy, the change is always a delta value, the triangle, and entropy is always an S. Now, since we're using standard values, this would be delta S notch. The notch always means that you're going in the back of the textbook to find those standard values. And that's what I did here. So I went to the back of the textbook to find out what those S values were for each component. So for methane, CH4, it's 186.3 joules per mole times Kelvin. O2 is 205.2. The carbon graphite is 5.740. And the H2O gas is 188.8. Just make sure that with water, you're taking the state that they want it at. So in this case, it's the gas one. So I have to use the 188.8, not the liquid one. Now, we can kind of guesstimate what the delta S value is going to be, whether it's a positive or a negative. Remember that entropy is talking about disorder or chaos or randomness in the container, right? So in this case... If you're starting off with gases, and gases are the most chaotic, they got a lot of problems. <laughs> but uh, gases, they're most chaotic, they're most disordered, they're all over the place. Same thing here, you got gases. So you got two gases, a lot of chaos going on over here. But then you're turning into something that's a solid, that's very, very, very structured. So a solid is always structured, but then you got your gas here. Like that, right? Now, what's going to happen? Well, this one is a little tricky because you have two moles of gas here, right? Right? Because I have one CH4, I got 102. But then I'm yielding to something that is two H2Os. So I have two moles of gas and I'm going to two moles of gas. Now, 188.8 is kind of in the middle of these two values. So it could be, it's going to be very, 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 very close. But maybe because we formed a solid, it might be a little bit of a negative side. Keep in mind that gases are, you know, best, right? More disorder, the better off, you know, the universe is going to be. That's spontaneous. So anytime that you're turning into a solid, you're losing your chaos. But let's see. Formula for this is right here. Delta S for the whole entire reaction, Rxn is reaction, equals to the sum, that's this little symbol, sum, aka addition. So you're just adding up all your products and subtracting it from the sum of all your reactants. But now, are these values going to be the same or are they going to be different? Well, it goes by the, the balanced equation. Keep in mind that for CH4, you only had one of these. You only had one O2 in the balance equation. You had one carbon, but you had two H2Os. These values are always for one mole. So for the first three, they're all the same. Technically, you would multiply each one by one, but multiplying by one is the same number. But I'm just writing it just to show you. But then when you come over to H2O, you have two of these. So I have to take this value and times it by two. Now, since it's the sum of the reactants and the products, I have to add these two up literally in the balance equation. It says CH4 plus O2 plus. So I'm going to take those values and add them. C plus H2O. So this value plus the other one. Let's tally them up. Let's see what we get. So I get 186.3 plus 205.2. On my reactant side, I get 391.5. And then on my product side, two times 188.8. And then I get plus 5.74. I get 383.34. Products minus reactants, let's plug it in. Delta S for the whole entire reaction equals 
383, 383.34. I'm going to subtract by the 391. And I do see that we have a negative value going on here, so we guessed correctly. Good job. Delta S for the whole reaction is this minus the 391.5. And for sig fig purposes, I have only one sig fig after the decimal here, so that's what I'm allowed. So it would be negative 8.2. Really, really close. So it's very close to zero, but it's still a negative value. You lost entropy. Joules per mole times Kelvin is the unit, and that is the answer. Okay, not bad. Thanks for tuning in. I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. We got other uh, subjects on the channel as well. Go check them out physics, math. Maybe we could help you out there. I hope you guys are having a great day. Keep studying hard. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.